What is the slope of a straight line that contains the points 312 and 832? Pause the video, try to figure this out, and then we'll go over it. Really, the first thing you need to know is that this 312, this is a coordinate pair, okay? And these are points that you could put on a graph. And so I'm gonna label the three as x1 and the 12 as y1. And you always, always, always need to know that the first number is an X coordinate and the second number is a Y coordinate. All right, so I'm gonna call these X1 and Y1. Then in the second coordinate pair, I'm gonna call the eight X2 and I'm gonna call the 32 Y2. And the formula is simply M, which is, we write slope as an M. So it's slope equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. All you have to do is you take the X1, which is three, just put it into the formula where X1 is, and you take your X2, which is eight, and you're gonna plug it into the formula where X2 is, and you do the same exact thing with the Y2, which is 32. Put that into the formula and place a Y2. Same thing with the 12, all right? Hopefully you're getting the point, but that's where I'm going with this, which is why I have 32 minus 12 and my x2 is 8 and my x1 is 3. So if we do some math here, all right, what is 8 minus 3? 8 minus 3 is 5 and what is 32 minus 12 is 20. We're not in simples form yet. So if you got to this step, you did a great job. But if you ever on the test, you get an answer like and it's a fraction and it doesn't match one of the answer choices, you probably didn't put it in simplest form yet. So all we wanna do is divide a five out of each term here. And so 20 divided by five is four. Five divided by five is just one. So D is four. And so I know I went through this kind of fast. This is a really complex uh, topic for a lot of people. So if you struggle with this, don't feel bad. I'm putting this solution up on the screen now. If you struggled with this, I highly recommend taking the time to pause the video, read the solution, 